Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com. This is the project going to make today and I'm going a little off piste because traditionally poppies are red but I wanted it to coordinate with the celebration items on page 7 of the celebration catalogue for 2020 and it's these metallic bakers twine and sequins combo pack and this is in Bermuda Bay and so saffron um, with the sequins to match. The painted poppies bundle is one half of the peaceful poppies suite which you can find on page 24 through to pages 27 in the new mini catalogue. You can see there are two bundles. Painted Poppies has only just the labels and no sentiments at all and the other one is the Peaceful Moments bundles which has all the wording um, and floral dies. So from this die set I'm going to be using this <coughs> die and this uh, detail. That's what it looks like. The card base I'm using is in So Saffron. This is eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths. That's 21 centimeters by 14.85 and folded in half. You need a whisper white piece for the card insert and that's been cut at five and a half by three and three quarters. That's 14 centimetres by 9.4 centimetres. A scrap of Whisper White so you can <coughs> stamp the flowers and the leaves. This distinctive stamp helps you to colour it in quickly uh, rather than doing it with a colouring medium. The other cardstock I need is a scrap of Bermuda Bay for die cutting with the swirly die at the back and this detail here. The inks I'm using are So Saffron, Mossy Meadow and Bermuda Bay. Mossy Meadow Stamping Blend Combo. If you purchase this bundle you'll get these embellishments for free. The embellishments I used were also the Perennial Essence Floral Centres. This stamp covers the area of this larger stamp. So if you look at it, there is a right way and a wrong way. So that's the right way. It's slightly skew if, but if you remember which way you stamped, then it would be easy. Stamp is straighter on the bottom and this straight edge is on the side. So first I'm going to ink up and stamp in So Saffron. Follow it with Bermuda Bay. Stamp again over here and this doesn't actually match the other flower. So I'm going to fussy cut it. I'll just cut that round quickly. Then I'm going to stamp my leaves using that as a guide. Highlight the darker areas. Put dimensionals on the back of this. Then I'm going to fussy cut round this. Bring in my magnetic platform, base cutting plate, cardstock, and <clears throat> I'm going to cut one of these labels um, and one of the swirly die top cutting plate and I'll do that off camera and I'll be back. My die cut pieces and I'm just going to run a bit of adhesive on there. Pop this in. Then on my cardstock I'm going to make a pencil mark. Align the edge of this detail here. Yeah. 
Okay. And what I'm going to do is cut away this bit here. I'm going to rub off the pencil mark, grab my silicone mat and just pop adhesive on the strip here. And just line it up um, <clears throat> where I mark the lines. The line here, that's where um, I should align the detail here on the card so then I can pop that on here take one of these perennial essence flower centers pop it in the center of this take a length of the baker's twine and wind it round a couple of times. I think I did it about three times. Tie a bow and then trim it off. Put um, a dollop of glue here for the sequins. Decorate the inside of the card. We're just going to stamp here in the corner in Bermuda Bay. And then to adhere it to the inside of the card, um, I put it on this side, line it up so it's flush with that bit there. Make sure that Baker's twine isn't interfering with it. Apply adhesive. To the inside of that and then just close the card so that it makes sure that the white bit doesn't jut out beyond this bit here. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Links for the supplies I used are below this, this video in the show more section. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for joining me today and pop back for more inspiration next time. Bye.